morning dear students how are you i think you are well i am also well today welcome to cambrian virtual class i am sanjit boshu rahul assistant professor department of english cambrian college today i will teach you english first paper dear students before going through our text we will watch some images which help you to gauge the lesson what we want to learn today okay first of all what indicates these images everyone wants to control okay and second image two boys are fighting and third image two groups of people try to control and last one i think already you have understood what we want to learn today so today's our lesson is what is conflict okay dear students learning outcomes after reading this lesson you will be able to know about conflict interpersonal and interpersonal conflict and intergroup and intergroup conflict okay now we will learn some important words which help you to understand the text better okay first of all individual individual means a person who is original and very different from others okay typically this is very good word you have to understand it in a way that shows the usual qualities or features of a particular person psychological connected with a person's mind and the way in which it works okay and principle an accepted rule of action or conduct thoughts thought means the power of thinking values beliefs about what is right and wrong and what is important in life this is also very good word values means beliefs about what is right and wrong and what is important in life it is different from man to man okay and it also varies from man to man objective objective means something that you are trying to achieve okay and this is also good word is antonym is subjective subjective means personal views but objectives there is no personal views but here objective means something that you are trying to achieve okay disrupt disrupt means to interrupt or impede harmony a state of peaceful existence this is also good word okay dear students now we will go through the text previous classes already we have learned about conflict 
causes of conflict and types of conflict. Now, we will also learn another types of conflict. conflict okay? Conflicts are also classified into the four following types. First of all, interpersonal conflict. Second, intrapersonal conflict. Third on, intergroup conflict. And last of all, intergroup conflict. Now, we will learn respectively. Okay? First of all, interpersonal conflict. What is mean? This type of conflict refers to a conflict between two individuals. Okay? What indicates the picture? You did it. No, you did it. It occurs two individuals. Okay? Between two individuals. This occurs typically because of difference among people. Because we know that values vary from man to man. Okay? And everyone thinks in his own way. So, interpersonal conflict means this type of conflict refers to a conflict between two individuals. This occurs typically because of difference among people. This is very important. Dif difference among people. Okay. Second, apparently it is a natural occurrence which can eventually help in personal growth or developing our relationships with others. Personal growth and developing our relationships with others. Okay. Now, Intrapersonal conflict. It occurs within an individual. The experience takes place in the person's mind. Okay. Hence, it is a type of conflict that is psychological, involving the individual's thoughts, values, principles, and emotions. Suppose uh, you want to be a doctor after ACC examination, but your mother wants you will be a, you will be an engineer. Now you think I will be doctor or I will be engineer. That is called intrapersonal conflict, inner conflict of a person. Understand this? I think. You will you have understood okay now intergroup conflict it is a type of conflict that happens among individuals within a team among individuals within a team it arises from interpersonal disagreements or differences in views and ideas Suppose you are a uh, you are a member of cricket team and you have 11 players and most of them suppose 9 players want to play batting first and 2 want to play field first. This is called Inter group conflict. Okay? Within a team, conflict can be helpful in coming up with decisions which will eventually allow the members to reach their objectives as a team. This is helpful. However, if the degree of conflict disrupts harmony, among the members, then some serious guidance from a different party 
will need it for to be settled okay now intergroup conflict it takes place when a misunderstanding arises among different teams within an organization one group and another group tries to control okay this is due to the varied sets of goals and interest of these different groups in addition competition also contributes to intergroup conflict suppose uh, you are to teams okay one team supports brazil and another team supports argentina this is called intergroup conflict okay dear students i think all of you have understood the text now we'll discuss exercise okay first of all describe the advantages of interpersonal conflict what is interpersonal conflict we know that interpersonal conflict helps us to develop relationships okay and second where do we see intra group conflict we see intra group conflict in a team okay thank you dear students see we again